an early morning fire in 2022 in a north flat that took the lives of three people was caused by a cigarette that had been left unattended for 10 to 15 minutes. Its hot ash and embers likely ignited the cardboard boxes it had been left on, which started a fire on May 13, 2022, that reached through a flat in Block 409 Bidock North Avenue 2, where five people were living. Delivering his findings on November 22, State Coroner Adam Nukoda ruled that the deaths of homeowner Aileen Chong, 56, and two of her tenants, Malaysian Tang, Soon Kiong, 35, and his three-year-old daughter Hui An, were an unfortunate misadventure. Tracing the events of that fateful day, State Coroner Nokoda said Chan's boyfriend, named only as Ethnan, woke up at 5.20 a.m. and prepared to leave for work. Chan, a film producer and actress who had previously battled cancer, was packing his breakfast at the time. Ethnan lit a cigarette in the master bedroom as he dressed. Later, when he sat on a recliner sofa in the living room to wear his shoes, he placed the cigarette on a stack of cardboard boxes beside the sofa. He then left the house. He realized only around 5.45 a.m. that he had left the cigarette unattended and sent two voice messages to Chon to retrieve the cigarette. Based on Chan's replies to his message, she retrieved and disposed of the cigarette and returned to her room, said State Coroner Nokoda. However, by this time, the cigarette had been left unattended for 10 to 15 minutes. Hot ash and embers could already have fallen onto the cardboard, and the lead tip of the cigarette may have touched the cardboard box, causing the edge of the box to smolder. Around 45 minutes later, the living room was engulfed in flames. Neighbours called the Singapore Civil Defence Force SCDF at about 6.30 a.m. A neighbour, Willie Toh, saw Tan calling for help through the bedroom window. Tan threw his keys to the front door and asked Toh to open it. But when Toh did so, he was confronted with a large fire and it was impossible for him to enter the unit. State Coroner Nokoda added that it was also not possible for anyone in the flat to leave because of the fire and smoke. SCDF firefighters extinguished the fire by 7.05 a.m. They found Chon in the house, unresponsive and severely burnt. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Tang, his daughter and wife, then 34, had collapsed and were found unresponsive. They were rushed to hospital, where father and daughter died that same morning. The cause of death for the father and daughter was fume inhalation. No foul play was suspected in all three deaths. During the inquiry into their deaths in June 2023, police investigation officer Harold Esli Hanafi told the court that Tan's wife is in a vegetative state in a hospital in Kuala Lumpur and it is unlikely that she would recover.